Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Miss Jeffers and I'm here from Sing Education. Today I'm going to teach you a really fun rhyme called Chop Chop. So have a listen. Chop Chop Choppity Chop. Chop off the bottom and chop off the top. What we have left we will put in the pot. Chop Chop Choppity Chop. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to teach you the rhyme. So I'm going to say a line, I want you to say it back to me. Ready? Chop, chop, choppity chop. Chop off the bottom and chop off the top. What we have left we will put in the pot. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Fantastic! I think we're ready to try all four lines together, okay? So, what I want you to do when we're saying this whole rhyme together, I want you to pat the pulse on your knees, okay? What's the pulse? We know that the pulse is the steady heartbeat of the song. It stays the same all the way through, okay? So, let's see you patting the pulse on your knees. And we're going to say the rhyme all the way through. Ready, chop, chop. Choppity chop, chop off the bottom and chop off the top. What we have left we will put in the pot. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Fantastic, well done. Okay, now we've tapped the pulse on our knees. I think we're ready to whoosh, whoosh, get our chopping board ready and our knife ready. And this time I want you to chop the pulse, okay? Let's give it a go. Ready, chop, chop. Choppity chop, chop off the bottom and chop off the top. What we have left we will put in the pot. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Well done, fantastic. I think it's time to introduce some food. We've got our chopping board, we've got our knife, we haven't got any food yet. So, I know, let's start off with some cherry tomatoes. So some little tomatoes, we need only a little chopping board and a little knife. And I think we should be quite quiet because those little tomatoes, they're only small, okay? Let's give it a go. Ready, chop, chop, chop it, chop, chop off the bottom and chop off the top. What we have left we will put in the pot. Chop, chop, chop it, chop. Well done, okay. Let's think of a food a bit bigger now. I know, let's have a big juicy watermelon. So now we need a bigger chopping board, we need a bigger knife and I think we need to use our bigger voices for this one, okay? Let's give it a go. Ready, chop, chop, choppity chop, chop off the bottom and chop off the top. What we have left we will put in the pot, chop, chop, choppity chop. <gasps> Fantastic, really good. Okay, well, we've had our quiet voices, we've had our loud voices. What about foods that might make us chop a bit faster or chop a bit slower? So we change the tempo. The tempo is how fast or slow the music is. Let me think of a food. Do you know what? Cabbages are quite hard to chop. I think if we had to chop a cabbage, it would make us slow down a little bit. Should we give it a go? So we are going to chop a cabbage. Okay, but we're going to have to go slow because we're going to have to put a lot of effort into chopping that cabbage. Should we give it a go? Ready, chop, chop, choppity chop. Chop off the bottom and chop off the top. What we have left we put into the pot. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Well done, that's great, fantastic. Okay, last food. I think we should choose something that we could chop quite quickly. So what about some carrots, okay? We're gonna try and chop our carrots. So small chopping board, small knife, and we're gonna be quite quick now, okay? Take a deep breath. Okay, here we go. Ready, chop, chop, choppity chop. Chop off the bottom and chop off the top. What we have left we put into the pot, chop, Chop, choppity chop. <gasps> Should we try it once more, even faster? Okay. Ready, chop, chop, choppity chop. Chop off the bottom and chop off the top. What we have left we put into the pot. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Fantastic, well done. <laughs> okay, your challenge this week 
is to go away and think of some other foods that you might be chopping up. So it might be your favorite food. It might be a food that you've had recently, okay? So I want you to think what the food is. How big does your chopping board need to be? How big does your knife have to be? Do you think, do you think it would be quite slow chopping it? Is it quite hard to cut through? Or do you think you'd be super speedy? Do you think you'd have to have a high voice or a low voice for it? How much energy do you need to, to chop the food, okay? So I want you to come up with some ideas of your own. Fantastic work today, well done, and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now.